friends welcome back this is the fourth video of performance dashboard and in this video we will learn how to create this sales conversion uh, movie man chart and then we will create the other sheet tab like this okay so we have created in our uh, first three video these cards speedometer battery chart the slicers and uh, and our all the graph connected with the slicers so now we will create this movie man chart so we am i'm going to the sheet two so we will create this chart for sales conversion okay so i'm taking few support here first of all i'll take the picture size is five percent that is why i'll minus 0.25 from two point percent from the sales conversion okay and then format this and then i will use one minus the actual sale conversion then we will use these three um, component to creating this chart so i'm going to the insert i have created moving man chart already uh, in my uh, one of the video so you can uh, watch that video in my dynamic graphs playlist okay so i'm going to the insert i'm inserting a bar chart to the bar chart and i'll take this step bar chart now right click here and go to the select data and click on switch row column make it a little bit top smaller now uh, remove all the elements not axis rest of the elements and we will remove the vertical axis also now double click on this and change the minimum value as 0 maximum is 1 which is 100% and the major at 0.1 which is 10 okay now right click on this and go to the format data series and gap width as 0 okay friend now what we will do uh, we will insert a man from the symbol so i'm using let's say here i'm going to the insert and i will insert a symbol and i will select the bib links from the font which is already selected and just scroll it down and i will select this icon okay bib link 130 insert this close we can change the font color this is the text currently so we can change the font color i'm taking this blue one let's say and uh, now we'll change the size as uh, let's say 110 okay now copy this and uh, go to the paste special and paste special picture this one now we can remove this this picture has been created we can crop this picture according to us according to requirement okay drop this now i will just copy this picture ctrl c and select this area and ctrl b paste it here and for rest area we will go to the uh, format and will fill as no fill for this also no fill in fact for the entire graph i will use no fill and shape outline as no outline now our graph is ready uh, now what i will do i'll go to the insert and i will insert a rectangle here now right click on this go to the format shape and i'll go to the this effects and in effects i'll go to the 3d rotation and here i will select uh, the preset and the preset i will go to the perspective and will select this perspective relaxed okay now i'll go to the 3d formats and i'll take the uh, view from here which is 
now we can change the color of this or even we can change the height if i if we want take a little bit of wider and let's put it here and right click and send to back just adjust this and uh, if you want we can change the color of this or whatever color you want take, let's say I want to take this one and I can change the text color as white and save outline as no outline then we can make graph and save uh, group now cut this group sorry select this and control x and go to the summary and paste here so our moving man chart is also ready and click on this man right click and go to the add data labels so put the data label here but data label as showing and just remove this line data label as showing 5 so what we can do go to the select the data label and go to the formula var and press equal to and go to the c2 and take this is our sales conversion press enter now check all the graph has been connected with the slicers data is getting change all the graph is working fine okay friends so our summary sheet is ready now we will create uh, another pipe sheet which will not take much time so what i will do i will right click on this and i'll go to the me move or copy and select c2 and just create a copy of this and by and he, here i will select these graphs press delete login efficiency press delete select the cards all the things uh, the graph which we have created and just press delete this graph also press delete so we have deleted all the graph this is the blank sheet now we will not delete the slicer we know we need the slicer on the uh, sheet 2 like this month wise so now uh, we will change this as monthly performance okay now we will make another copy press uh, alt control and select this and move it here we will make the four copy of this first is monthly performance second will be the weekly performance and the last one is uh, sorry uh, third one is the agent wise performance and this is the so we don't need the this is the extra seat so we can delete this and we can put it here supervisor performance okay now what we will do we'll go to the uh, summary sheet first and we'll use the hyperlink here right click and hyperlink play uh, select the place in this document and uh, we'll select the monthly performance and for this we will go to the hyperlink and select the weekly performance and for agent wise right click and go to the hyperlink select the agent wide performance and uh, for this right click go to the hyperlink and select the supervisor wise performance now if i will click on uh, monthly performance then the monthly performance it is activated now first of all i'll select this sorry i'll select uh, this summary and go to the format painter and click here and I will select this weekly go to the format pointer and click here okay 
now we will put the hyperlinks on the monthly performance ETF so on summary right click go to the hyperlink and select summary we will not put the hyperlink on monthly performance now we will put the hyperlink of, week, of the weekly performance right click hyperlink and select the weekly performance right click hyperlink agent wise performance right click hyperlink and then supervisor wise performance okay now we will go to the weekly seat tab similarly uh, go to the select this and go to the format vendor i will change the format of the weekly and select this go to the format vendor and sorry select this go to the format vendor and change this now we will put the uh, hyperlinks on this and similarly for this seat and for this seat so i am putting the hyperlinks here now i have added all the hyperlinks here here and here as you are seeing so uh, what we will do we will uh, put the pivot table as monthly performance here so what i will do i will go to the c2 and this is already a monthly performance table so just select this and copy and go to the monthly performance sheet and paste it here now what i will do select this press ctrl a right click and go to the size and properties and here we will uh, go to the properties and we will select this uh, which is don't move or size with the same okay we have selected all the shapes then we have used that properties now if we will change the column width let's say 15 so uh, the shape will not be moved or resized okay so we can change the row level as month now we will copy this and we will go to the weekly and we can paste it here so if we will change the column width as 15 then press and do so first of all we will select any shape any slicer or anything and press ctrl a all the shapes will be selected right click any shapes and go to the size and properties again and in properties we will select this don't move or size with the sales now we will change the column width as 15 right click and go to the show field list and here uh, we'll take this is the weekly performance so we'll take the week here and remove the month okay and we'll change the this level as week copy this and go to the agent performance and just paste it here and the same things we will repeat here control a right click go to the size and properties don't move and select this right click column width as 15 now this is the seat for the agent performance that is why we will select the employee name and we will remove the peak from here and we'll change this as agent select this go to the supervisor just paste it here right click control a form size and properties press don't move and resize now we can change the column width as 15 we will also change i will take the supervisor in place of employee name and we we'll take as supervisor okay friends so your dashboard is right ready that is how you can create this dashboard you can use in your daily weekly monthly reporting or any client or business dashboards friends i will upload this excel file to my google drive and i will give the link in the video description you can download this file from there thank you so much for the watching